Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today I'm going to show you all how to cook this easy delicious egg masala. Uh, if you're a bachelor or a busy mom or if you have no time to cook anything, you can just straight away go and cook this recipe. Very very easy to make and at the same time very uh, delicious. So let's get started. So I'm just going to take a kadai. In that I'm going to add about 2 tablespoons of oil. You can add any oil of your choice. Whether it is the refined oil or the oily oil. It's up to your choice. So let them get eaten up. And to this I'm going to add about 1 spoon of fennel seeds. And also half inch of cinnamon sticks. So saute them for 2 to 3 minutes until they release their aroma. And to this, I'm going to add about two medium sized onions that are finely chopped. So make sure it is finely chopped so that your gravy looks thicker. And stir it a little. And to this, I'm going to add about a little bit of salt and stir it again and cover the lid and cook for about five minutes or until the onions turns golden brown. So add the salt and stir it little and cover the lid and cook for about 5 minutes on medium flame or your onion turns golden brown. So it's been 5 minutes so the onions are nicely roasted. And to this I am going to add about 1 spoon of ginger garlic paste. So it's a homemade ginger garlic paste. It gives you a lot of flavor and aroma to the entire dish. Stir it a little for about 2 minutes until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste goes off. And to this I am going to add about 3 tomatoes that are blended into puree. Stir it really well. And again I am going to add half cup of water. And I am going to cook this with the lid closed for about 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, the gravy is ready. It's time to add in the powder masalas. Starting off with 2 spoons of coriander powder, 2 spoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. It gives you a lot of color to the uh, dish. And 1 spoon of turmeric powder. And half spoon of plain red chilli powder. And 2 spoons of pepper powder. And half spoon of cumin powder and followed by required salt. So I'm using Himalayan pink salt here. You can use any of kind of salt. And I'm going to stir it on medium flame for about one minute. Make sure to keep the flame on medium or otherwise low. So you need not want to burn the masalas. To this again, I'm going to add half cup of water and now raise the flame to medium and I'm going to close the lid and cook for about 7 to 10 minutes or otherwise the oil separates from the gravy which indicates that the gravy is cooked. And it's been 10 minutes. The gravy is absolutely ready. Wow, it looks delicious. The oil separates from the gravy which indicates it is ready. As you all can see, it, the texture is so good and you can have chapatis or rice, anything with this. And I've already boiled eggs, like I boiled, I boiled about 3 eggs and I've split it into half and I'm just going to um, put it yolk side down. So that the masala gets really well into the eggs. And you can turn off the stove. It's ready now. And now at the end I am going to add some finely chopped coriander leaves. And that is all. This is how easy to make egg masala. It's a simple egg masala but tastes delicious. Trust me, 
try it in your home and let me know in the comment section and if you tried this recipe get a photo and uh, send me to the mail so i've given the mail address in the description box i will feel very happy that you have tried my recipe and uh, at the last i'll be putting some masala on the egg i mean uh, on the top of the egg so that it is nicely coated with the masala doesn't it look yummy let me know in the comment section so catch you all in my next video until then stay happy